signs of some potentially very windy weather. Return. Well, in the west, the winds are falling light, and with those clear skies, there will be some fog around, particularly over the Midlands, northwest England, and parts of East Wales, and patches of frost. And in the countryside, will be below, maybe down to minus three or minus four in some rural spots. So, yes, a chilly start to Wednesday, and there will be that fog around as well across parts of the Midlands in particular. It could take a while to clear away. And again, there will be some fog patches, probably a few more as we go to Thursday morning, compared to Wednesday morning. Particularly across parts of the southern sunny spells, providing that fog clears through Thursday. Again, temperatures like to be in single figures. So I am well and truly living the dream right now. Whilst I was driving, I was just realising how lucky I was. The weather's nice, I've got free time to come out in the van and basically do nothing other than landscape photography and filmmaking, which is exactly what I'm going to be doing uh, pretty much, well, today and tomorrow, you see the weather forecast. Now, I say this a lot, and quite often it never materialises, and it may not materialise in this instance, but I really hope it does. But tomorrow morning, where I am now, the prediction, hang on, the prediction is for 100% chance of fog. Now, I have been in this very spot and said the very same thing not too long ago, a couple of months ago, and it never materialised. So this is second chance for me, second time round. And if we do get thick fog here tomorrow morning, well, it's going to be magical. And I'm really looking forward to it. So it's pretty much dark now and we're still in the depths of winter so i'm in for a very long night in the van which actually isn't a bad thing it's pretty cozy in here and i've got music i've got like i don't know netflix type things a couple of books and i'm going to cook some food so i'm actually quite looking forward to chilling out and having a bit of alone time in the van <laughs> uh, right i think it's time for me to cook some food and uh, get settled in for the evening I'm not, um, I'll be honest, I'm not really known for my culinary skills. <laughs> I did uh, I did contemplate doing a whole like cooking montage, chopping the food, ingredients, you know, making a nice meal, making it all cinematic, and then I thought, what a terrible idea that would be, because nobody wants to see me cook. So I've been thinking about how I've been let down in the past, let down so many times by the fog forecast. Now, it's a very difficult thing to predict, which is why it's hit and miss. You know, the difference between fog and mist is when it hits, it's fog, and when it doesn't. On a serious note, though, it is very difficult to predict. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to wake up nice and early, a couple of hours before sunrise, have a coffee, and just see what's going on. Because if I wake up at sort of 5.30, 6 a.m., uh, it should be foggy. It should be. Um, but if it isn't, then I've got the option to move on to another location which also has a mist forecast. Fingers crossed for tomorrow.
so I decided against the cooking montage, but good old cup of tea montage, well, you can't, you can't beat that. So this is me pretty much settled in for the evening now. And this is always my favourite part when coming out in the van is the night time. It's the anticipation of what might be the next morning. It's the cosiness. It's the feeling of being secure in a den. It's just fantastic. Especially when you've got a... Got myself a new light. I haven't figured out how to uh, rig it up yet. I'm going to have to get some uh, Velcro or magnets. So where was I? Yeah, favourite part of the evening, the anticipation. But the truth is, oh, I'm just... I'm just not convinced tomorrow morning is going to be what I want it to be, but I guess we'll find out. So I'm going to turn in for the night and then hopefully you and me will be getting very excited as I open these van doors and we see what tomorrow morning brings. With a bit of luck, zero visibility and thick fog. Wouldn't that just be the dream? So, so I will bid you good night and uh, yeah, keep our fingers crossed. Absolutely crystal clear. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen a forecast as wrong as the one that I looked at yesterday evening. Damn!
Get in there. Get in there. Ooh. Okay, note to self, might have the scrap filming of Pano because there is a much more interesting image right behind me which I didn't see. So I've just photographed quite a nice pano. Well, it, it was okay. It was okay. Not not nice enough for me to continue filming because whilst shooting the pano, or whilst uh, whilst preparing to film for the pano, I noticed a, a composition, one that I much preferred. So I kind of abandoned the filming of the pano and. Uh, I went straight for this composition and it's right here and uh, it gives me a chance to use this new lens that I've been wanting to use for quite some time. This is the uh, 35mm f2 prime lens and uh, I'm dying to use it and this, this is perfect. So the reason I bought this uh, f2 lens is I just, I really want something that limits and restricts me. So the idea behind this lens is that when conditions were right, I wanted to walk around with just this lens on the camera, um, especially in an area like this with lots of trees. And especially if it was foggy this morning, that was always gonna be my plan to walk around with this lens, uh, you know, shoot some images at F2 and get that really shallow depth of field. But it just so happens it's the perfect focal length for this scene and f5.6 this lens is going to be super super sharp i can see it when i focus through the viewfinder it, it it just looks ridiculously sharp so let me talk you through my composition it's all about the light basically without the the nice sunlight the direct sunlight that we have this composition wouldn't work and what caught my attention first of all are all of these silver birch trees that line the banks of this reservoir. The way that the sunlight is catching them off to one side makes them really, really stand out. The edges, the, the left hand edges of these trees are really glowing so you get that insane contrast. And they just look super, super sharp and, uh, and incredibly graphic. And then beyond the birch trees, you have these coniferous trees which still have their green needles and they're also catching the light and they, they sort of act as another layer behind the birch trees and then beyond that we have a dark hillside which is yet to catch the morning sun so without the sunlight this scene would look fairly flat and a little bit dull but because of the light it suddenly separates all of those layers and gives you that separation so it's quite a nice image ah man i wish I wish the winds would just drop so I could get some nice reflections in the water, but I don't think it matters too much. I think, um, yeah, it's, uh, it's a nice intimate scene and really it got me so much more excited than the panel that I shot. I still, I, I'm, I'm undecided at this stage whether or not to show the panel. I probably will, I'm not that arrogant. I think I'll, I'll tell you what, I'll stick the panel up at the end of this video. It's, it's a nice image, but my heart wasn't in it, if I'm being honest. Whereas this, yeah, this feels fantastic.
So I think all in all today wasn't too bad. I was disappointed initially this morning, but one of the biggest problems that I have, and I'm sure many of you guys face as well, is that I build up an image in my head about what I think a certain location or a certain weather pattern or whatever is going to be. So in my head, I built up this misty, foggy wonderland. And of course, that wasn't the case. It never materialized. And sometimes I can be so fixated on what I think it's going to be that when it's not the case, I just kind of feel pretty downheartened and I give up and leave. And if you watched my video a, a few weeks ago when I was back here in the Lake District, I didn't take an image because I wasn't feeling up to it. Um, but today, today was much better. I persevered and started looking for other things. And I think today's video, more than anything, sort of goes to show how it really is because, you know, I come out with my camera a lot and rarely do I get the conditions. It's very, very rare to get those perfect conditions and that gorgeous light and weather and mist. So, you know, the norm is this. The norm is disappointment. <laughs> it's not disappointing. But, you know, when you look at all of these images online, all these fantastic photographs by all of these very talented photographers, you may think, that you know why can't you do that how can i do that but the truth is it's so rare to get those perfect conditions that you really just have to come out time and time again and remember that eventually it will happen everything will align and you'll get that perfect photograph and if you do that enough times then you'll build up that amazing portfolio and soon enough you'll be one of those photographers that other people look at and go, how, how, how does he do it? <laughs> so, so there you go, that's, uh, that's my words of wisdom from today. Right, I'm gonna pack up and go home. So thanks for watching. And until next time, bye for now.